Welcome to Son of the Pizza Man. My name is Enzo, and today we are making sweet and spicy pizzas in honor of Valentine's Day. The only one who could ever need me was the son of a pizza man. Before we get started though, please remember to hit that subscribe button and click on the notification bell so you're notified when I upload new videos. Valentine's Day is right around the corner and I wanted to pay homage with a spicy pizza and a sweet pizza. For the spicy pizza, we're topping it with spicy Korean chicken, barbecue sauce, and mozzarella cheese. For the sweet pizza, we're topping it with Nutella and strawberries. We're giving both of them a kick of spice with a drizzle of hot honey. So we have our two pizzas here, our savory pizza and our sweet pizza. So I am hoping that the savory pizza is uh, uh, edible because the chicken that I used is uh, leftover chicken. It's Korean spicy chicken. So it's really good, but it's really spicy. So I'm hoping that with the barbecue sauce and mozzarella cheese that it'll kind of calm the spiciness, but you know, I'm a sucker for punishment, so um, let's just add the, the honey for as a last minute topping. So I'm just gonna do like, like just like a light drizzle. I don't wanna kill myself, but I think the honey on the sweet Nutella strawberry pizza is gonna be good. It's gonna be a nice like sweet, uh, spicy sweet taste. Here we go on the savory. I hope it's not too painful. But, okay, <clears throat> here we go. I'm going to cut, I'm gonna cut a little piece of the savory. I'm really nervous. So here we are, we're at the, the final stretch. The pizzas are out of the oven, and the last thing I'm gonna do is add some hot honey to it to make it super spicy. Uh, also, quick shout out to Mike's Hot Honey. They were kind enough to send some free samples to me. They sent this guy, which is the 12 ounce bottle. And then they also sent this behemoth of a bottle, which is 24 ounces of hot honey. Um, this is more for like restaurant use, but these squeeze bottles are awesome to reuse for other things. And then they also sent these uh, personal hot honey Th uh, things, which I guess if you're on the go and you want some spice in your life, that's that's what that's for. And then I went ahead and ordered the extra hot honey because they have extra hot. Uh, because I'm curious to know how much hotter the extra hot is from the hot because the hot is really spicy in my opinion. Um, so I'm curious. But again, thank you, thank you, Mike Hot Honey for supplying all the honey and uh yeah let's just get drizzling so here we go here's the uh the super spicy chicken pizza so i'm i'm really hoping it's not like deadly but all right let's get into it you know what it's actually not i think it actually uh it, that actually worked the mozzarella cheese and the barbecue sauce kind of it kind of chilled out the the super spiciness because spiciness to me there's a point of spiciness that's just like unbearable uh where it's just like where you're just tasting spice and you're not tasting flavor or you're just tasting like hot it's like you're like, like a piece of lava in your in your throat but this is actually pretty good um so that's a good tip to know uh, if you have something that's super spicy and you kind of want to dull that spice, to add some cheese to it. Dairy, I guess dairy kind of counteracts that, which is good. Um, yeah, I don't know. I like it. Yeah, I I give I give that a thumbs up. I was really, so I'm really surprised. I really thought I was it was gonna be like unbearable, but super tasty. So let's get into dessert. This is not the prettiest uh, pizza, but. It's Nutella, strawberries, honey, and powdered sugar. So how can you go wrong? Here we go. Yeah. 
you really can't go wrong with this. It's Nutella, strawberries, honey, powdered sugar on top of bread. I mean, it's it's kind of awesome. And you can kind of taste the honey, um, but it's not like super spicy or, or hot, which is nice. It's just like a mellow kind of flavor. Um, so I don't know if that's, that's just like the chocolate kind of kind of acting the spice, but it's delicious. So uh, yeah, I would totally make these again. I'd love to hear what you think about these two pizzas in the comments below. Thanks for watching as always. If you like this video, please hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Also remember to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Until next time, ciao for now.